All right, you're here at the journal. You're uh, at the home stretch for our learning unit. And as part of this journal, you're asked to create three brief reports. One brief report for nominal data, another for ordinal data, and then the third brief report for scale data. Up to you whether you want it to be scale data that's normally distributed or scale data that's not normally distributed. For your nominal data report, you're going to be describing um, survey responses that are categorical and cannot be ranked. That is, nominal data is things like uh, what state were you born in, uh, what is your gender, uh, what is your political affiliation, what is your religion, what's your favorite color, what's your favorite sport. All those are examples where uh, people's responses, are, there's no inherent ranking to it. For nominal data, there's mainly just two things you, you have to provide. Uh, what was the most frequent response, that is the mode, and then how many categories were used in the response. This uh, brief report that I'm showing you, I actually go a little bit above and beyond that. So here we go, let's take a look at it. I say 30 uh, children attending Miracosta College Child Development Center were asked their favorite color. So I'm kind of giving you a background who participated in the survey. Then I say a total of five different colors were reported. So now again I'm giving you, you know, how many colors reported, that's giving you an idea of the variability. And then the most popular favorite color was green. That's it, I'm done. Now, this is where I went above and beyond. I indicated the frequency of people who chose green, and for each of the other colors, I also indicated the frequency of the people who chose those colors. And that's it. For ordinal data, ordinal data, that's uh, categories that can be ranked. And so it might be something, you know, like how often uh, do you uh, go sailing, you know, every day, uh, every week, once a month, once a year, rarely or never. It could be how often do you go skiing, same thing. Uh, typically, you want to have several different categories that people could respond with. Okay, now, ordinal data, those are categories that you can rank. That is, you have a category that's the, uh, the, the lowest frequency. Uh, so, such as like, you know, oh, people never ski or they never uh, sail, all the way up to the category that's, you know, the most frequent, like, you know, oh, I ski all the time or I sail all the time. So, in terms of the responses, you could rank them from uh, low to, to high. And when you do ordinal data, to communicate what's typical, you report the median. And then also to give an idea of variability, you indicate the minimum and the maximum. And that includes outliers, so also you provide the range for the middle 50% of the data. So let's take a look here. We got, during the spring 2008 semester, 40 randomly selected students at Miracosta College were asked how much they paid for textbooks. Okay, so that's like the scenario. The median response was more than 300. So I was, uh, so if you took a look at people's responses, this would be the response kind of in the middle of the data set, of a ranked data set from low to high. Okay, now I'm going to give you the minimum and the max. Rain, uh, responses ranged from 51 to 150, that was the minimal category, to more than 300. Okay, but maybe, you know, there was an outlier. Maybe only one person or two people were in the 51 to 150 category. So now let's talk about the middle 50% of the students. So the middle 50% of the students uh, spent between 151 to 300. So when you look at this report, you're like, okay, wow, most people are spending more than 300. The typical student is spending between uh, 151 to 300 to more than 300. And by the way, when I look at all the students, you know, here was the, the range from the minimum to the max. So that's for ordinal data. And again, I'm totally making up these statistics. What I want to see you do is be able to put them in the correct format. We're just getting practice with the format. Okay, for scale data that's normally distributed, you're going to provide the mean and standard deviation. So we have people say, uh, when they're searching for the right word to, uh, or thought to communicate, a study of 20 Miracosta College professors found the mean number of times they said, uh, while teaching was five times per hour, that's our mean, with a standard deviation of 1.2 times. The data was scale and normally distributed. And finally, if you have uh, scale data that's not normally distributed, for example, if it's skewed, you provide the median and the IQR. So we have uh, most Call it Miracosta College students work to support themselves. 100 students were randomly selected and asked how many hours of paid work they complete each work each week. The median was 25. The interquartile range was 6. The distribution was negatively skewed. All right, so that's just a brief overview of how you do each of these reports. Refer to your workbook. Uh, your workbook uh, also has several examples of how you write up these reports. And if you have any questions, use the Ask a Question. Take care.